Hello YouTube, today I will be doing a review and unboxing of the Scorpion Takedown. So today I was at Walgreens and I was looking around and I saw this set. You can see here it was $9.99 and it's usually $25 so I decided to pick it up while it was a deal. So It looks pretty cool as you can see here. It's the Scorpion. This um, tail is supposed to come down and catch it or fling it off. And then up here we can see there's a card that you get with the set. And it's got the new track pieces that it attaches to. And yeah, all together it looks like it's going to be fun. Now here on the back we can get a better look at the set itself. Here you can see the scorpion. It's a purple color. There's a little track here where you can go under the scorpion's legs and there's a launcher there. You go around and you try to escape the scorpion. And Then over here it shows what happens when the scorpion either catches you or flings you. And it's uh, another picture there, Hot Wheels logo, and uh, let's go and unbox this now. Try my best not to rip it. Keep the box in somewhat decent condition. open it. Here's the instructions. I won't have to use it, but just for reference, keep it over here. We have the car. It's a little blue car, and it says stunt team. And there's the connectors and the stickers. Here we have the main base. It's got the scorpion here. Looks like it works with the spring right there. And that goes up and sets it off. So launch pad included and right here little thing to stop the car from going. And here's the other half of the tail. And this curves up to go to the tail. So now let's build it. So we're gonna go. Add that on. Now add the tail on. And it's set up. So it looks like if you want the tail to flip the car off, you put that notch up and then you hit it and it flings the car. And if you want the scorpion to try and catch the car, you put this red one up, the car comes, hits it, and tries to catch the car. And it's just easy reset, you just push it back and it's alright. Now I've got it fully set up, I got all the stickers on, it was only three, and I got the little push tabs, the new thing they're doing, so right here we've got our little crossing guard, you just go flip it up, and then there's a little puddle down there, and those are really the only stickers we have. Now let's get some track time with a few cars. Here are the five cars I decided to use. I got the first one that came with it called Asphalt Assault. 
Then I got this guy. He's our 10 Camaro SS. Then we have our green 67 Ford Mustang GT. And then we have both versions of horseplay. Now, I haven't seen any of these yellow horseplays around until a few days ago when I got it. And I was curious if any of you had seen it. So, if you did, if you have it, um, tell me about it in the comments. That'd be great. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. So, now we're testing the track and I'm going to set this little red one up in front to try and see if we can escape before the scorpion stinger catches us. First up is the car that came with it, Asphalt Assault. So let's go. And he got captured. And then the easy reset. Next, we've got our 67 Ford Mustang GT. I didn't set it that time, my bad. So I reset it, and here we go. He, got, he almost got away, but he grabbed on the spoiler at the very end here. See? Right there, just barely grabbed him. Almost got away. Yeah, so now we'll reset it. Next we've got our 2010 Camaro SS. Here we go. And uh, got to reset it again. My memory is not the best. I apologize for that. Short term and all. Now we're going to go, and he got away. He made it past, but he didn't go down that, but there's no track for him to go down anyway, so it's whatever, but he got past it. He said it, remember to do the red this time. And now we've got our white version of horseplay. Let's see if he can get past. He got past too. This scorpion's not too... Good with his reflexes. The red up. Get our yellow horseplay and go. Got away. I'm just going to do a, another quick run with this notch up. And with that, what he's supposed to do is he's supposed to use his tail and make him fly off. So, here we go. He flew off, but not because of the tail. Let's try again. And he was flung off. Right towards you guys. Set it. He got past before it got a chance to fling him off. Pretty good set all together. I enjoy it. Nothing. Come on. There we go. So it seems like with these different switches, it'll go at a certain area. If you hit that, it'll only go halfway, but if you hit that, it'll go all the way to the ground. Alright. All together, it's a pretty good product. It's very simple to build, it was fun to use, and it has many places where you can add on more track, I believe four, yes. So, it's a great set. Um, I probably would have paid the $25, but I'm glad I got it for the $10 deal. And, 
I'll be putting in more videos, so if you like what you see, subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you.